Hi everyone. Um, I, as you know, am an ANAD eating disorder support group leader and resource person. Um, so they send me mail, they send me their quarterly newsletters, and I actually um, received some mail from them yesterday, and I found it really interesting. Um, so I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it just proves that eating disorders can affect anyone and everyone, no matter where you come from, no matter what kind of community you live in, um, no matter if you um, see magazines or television or other kinds of media on a regular basis. Um, so I'm just going to read you um, the letter that I received. Um, it's, it's from ANAD, um, Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders, and it's basically a letter that they sent out to everyone, basically explaining what their organization is all about, what they do, and um, why they would love donations. Um, <clears throat> it says, An Amish father, Samuel, called our helpline concerned about one of his 15 children. He was worried about the odd behaviors of his 12-year-old daughter, Rebecca. She had just learned about calories from a health book at her Amish school. Rebecca had dramatically restricted food, seemed detached, and would constantly move around in the house or all over the farm. She chose to do her daily chores barefoot in the snow and didn't want to wear a coat or gloves. Alarmed, Samuel decided to take Rebecca to the family doctor, who instructed the family to call ANAD, a trusted resource. It was heartbreaking to listen to Samuel share stories that the entire loving family confused that had the entire loving family confused and unsure of what to do. Rebecca's mom asked her, What is troubling you? Their daughter had no exposure to the unrealistic ideals of a 20th century culture. After several lengthy phone calls from a phone in town, tears were shed, education was shared, and suggestions for treatment were considered. ANAD coordinated an assessment at an eating disorder treatment center two hours away from their home. Thankfully, we were able to steer this family toward professional treatment despite obstacles like lack of electricity, limited transportation, and minimal access to medical information. Rebecca is still at a 60-day residential treatment facility and is slowly improving. Samuel repeatedly expressed gratitude that he was able to speak openly with a person that patiently listened, provided education, and made suggestions without judgment. So, obviously, that, that letter... Um, from ANAD is to explain what they why what they do is so important but I just found that letter so telling and so interesting we're talking about an Amish family an Amish adolescent and I just think it proves eating disorders affect everyone and it's not necessarily about body image especially um, where anorexia is concerned so it was just a little message I wanted to share see y'all later